This video is sponsored by GamePrint. GamePrint gives you the ability to 3D print your customized Star Trek online ship with your own ship name and number. Hello everybody, Zeph Films here. Welcome to another visual review. Uh, today's episode, we're going to be looking at a Zenkethi ship from the Lobi store. Uh, this is the Zenkethi Razbaj Battlecruiser. Uh, this is a ship that is available for um, all factions because it's low buy and uh yeah and a battle cruiser and it's big <laughs> um really cool looking ship this is actually the first time i'm looking at it in person uh this isn't a ship i would get myself um but this might be a ship for you uh like i said it's available in the low buy store for 900 low buy or is it low buy or low buy? let me know because I, I don't recall. <laughs> uh, or you can get this from the East, uh, from the exchange um, for some EC. Um, I think this part up here is really cool. And it'll be interesting to see how that changes with all the different uh, shield visuals. Uh, but we'll get to that part later on in the video. For now, let's take a look at the specs of this thing that looks kind of like... I don't know, it looks like an insect of some type. <laughs> All right, let's look at specs. All right, so this is a tier six ship. It is a battle cruiser, as I said. It is a 5-3 uh, with three device slots, five engineering console slots, three science console slots, and three tactical console slots. It comes with a universal console called uh, Momentum Manipulator. And yeah, this can be, um, um, equipped onto any Zenkethi starship. Uh, when you have this equipped on your ship, you get plus 15 physical damage resistance uh, rating, plus 15 kinetic damage resistance rating, plus 15 radiation damage resistance rating, and plus 21.4 starship shield regen. So improves your shield healing. Uh, when you activate this, uh, set it sets your throttle to 100% and inertia to zero. Uh, locks current trajectory and speed, and then um, applies to self or scaled up down every two seconds. Uh, minus one second to remaining bridge officer ability cooldowns. Plus five to fifteen percent critical chance with weapons. Plus ten to thirty percent critical severity with weapons, and zero to seventy-five uh, flight turn rate. Uh, lasts up to twenty seconds. Can be deactivated after five seconds. And then control amplification to target hit, uh, minus 25 exotic damage resistance for 10 seconds, and minus 25 control resistance for 10 seconds. And this entire thing has a two minute recharge. Let's just take a look to see what it does when we activate it. So let's. No. Nothing. Oh. So my throttle is to 100, but it ain't going anywhere. And we can deactivate it. And now we're moving. So we probably had to have a, uh, a target selected for that to work. That's fine. All right, so the T5 mastery on this ship is called Turtle. <laughs> Just Turtle, which is funny about the jokes that came out with the Zenkethi when they were first introduced to Star Trek Online. They literally look like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but... Uh, turtle. Uh, while at or below 25% throttle, up to 10 stacks, uh, plus 6% flight turn rate, plus 3% maximum shield capacity, and plus 3% shield hardness. All, sta all stacks lost if throttle goes above 25%. Uh, and 25%, um, I don't know if you use your mouse to control your speed. Um, I use Q and E. So E increases uh, your speed in increments of 25. So right now we're at 25%, 50, 75, 100. And then Q reduces that. So we're at 100, 75, 50, 25, 0. Or to go really, to go full speed, uh, you can press R. Uh, but in order to get to full impulse, you still have to click the full impulse button. But you can press R and it'll bring you down to zero real quick. All right, so let's take a look at the stations. 
So we have a Lieutenant Commander Universal slash Miracle Worker Station. We have a Lieutenant Commander Tactical Station. A Commander Engineering Station. An Ensign Engineering slash Pilot Station. And a Lieutenant Science Station. All right, so that is uh, it for the specs that I'm going to go into because, yeah, I just want to briefly go over them. Uh, but we're here for the visual stuff. Uh, let's take a look at the bridge on this uh, ship, which, uh, if I remember correctly, it's going to look pretty badass. So let's go do that now. All right, so here we are in the bridge interior, and this thing is pretty massive. And I'm wondering why my pants are so shiny. Everything. Hmm. I don't remember wearing shiny pants on this character. <laughs> Nonetheless. Uh, so let's go this way first. Uh, this is the map overview. At the bottom is the bridge. And we're going to investigate what is on the top part here. Uh, this looks to be a... Uh, yep. Yeah. Select a small craft and access account bank. Over here, I'm guessing, is nothing. Okay. <laughs> uh, over this way. That's really cool. Over this way is just seems to be a giant room that doesn't do anything. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I... You have so much room for activities. And then over here is the bridge, which is big. I remember this bridge being darker in the mission. I don't know if it's lighter because we've taken it over or what, but um, yeah, so really, really big window that you can kind of run on. <laughs> um, if we go down here, there's, oh, oh I could have swore I could have jump nope we gotta go all the way around maybe if you're a cation you can jump over that but we cannot a little steps going down here we can contact duty officers from here uh nothing there nothing here and up here what can we do access library files and then this little hologram comes up reminds me a lot of the um of the SS Normandy from Mass Effect when the uh, the holographic like uh, um, solar system map comes up. I always thought that was a really cool thing. Uh, but yeah, that's the bridge for this uh, for this ship. Uh, let's go to the ship tailor and take a look at what uh, visualization options are available for us there. Alrighty, so here we are in the ship tailor. Um, I should preface and say that I am on Tribble, so. Um, what we see here might not be representative of what is on holodeck, um, but really we're just here for the space Barbie, let's be honest. <laughs> uh, so only one template, which that's fine. Uh, interior, we just took a look at that. See, in there it looks darker. Huh. Uh, windows, only one type of window. Uh, under materials, we only have one material. Wow. Um. <laughs> and yeah, we don't have any hull customization options. Uh, does that do anything? I don't think that did anything. Not that we can really see. No, not that we can really see. And because we are on Tribble, we don't have the, uh, the option to um, upload this. Um, but uh, I still want to thank our sponsor, uh, GamePrint. GamePrint gives you the ability to obtain a one-of-a-kind, high-quality Star Trek Online ship with your name and number. You either upload a ship directly from the game, or pick one from thousands of available variations. The ships are offered in multiple sizes and finishes. Prices start from $19.99. Use a coupon code in the description and get 10% off your next order. All right, now is time to check out what this ship looks like with all the different shields on it. So let's go to the Solonade Dyson Sphere and take a look at that now. All right, so here we are in the Solonade Dyson Sphere. Uh, we can get a little bit of a better look at this ship. Um, 
yeah, I really do love the color, um, the color palette on this ship. Um, it's really, really, really sharp looking. Also, speaking of Zenkethi, there is a reason why I picked Zenkethi for uh, this next video. Uh, and I want to thank this person. Um, I don't want to butcher your name. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm sorry. Uh, this person totally just like hooked me up with Zenkethi shields, uh, vanity shields on Tribble. Uh, so thank you very, very much for coming through. I know this person is a uh, member of the Red Shirt uh, community, uh, Red Shirt podcast. I was actually on their show once. Uh, good folk, good community. So thank you very much for helping me out and hooking me up with those shields on Tribble. But uh, let's uh, let's do yeah. Let's go. Sorry, I'm just. I'm, this looks like something, and I just can't put my finger on it. Um. Yeah, I I really can't put my finger on it. But yeah, let's uh, let's start the visual review now. Starting with the Legends of Discovery T5 Rep Shield. And also, um, going forward, we're going to be using the new format, so we'll be looking at the T5 and the T6, um, one after the other, and then going, working our way through the rep, um, looking at them. I saw that you guys thought that it was more organized, and you got to see better contrast between the T5 and the T6, so that's what we are going to do. And it, it, honestly, it makes sense. The video seems uh, better structured that way, so... Uh, this shield looks pretty cool on here. Let's go to the next one. Here's the T6 uh, Vanity Shield, Legends of Discovery. Looks pretty cool. Next shield, the Adapted Mako Shield Array. This one looks really good. I like that a lot. Very, very, very nice. Next shield, the T5 Omega Shield Array. Also looks pretty cool. Yeah, that looks really nice, actually. Uh, next shield, the T6 Omega Vanity Shield. So not much difference other than the yellow parts are now purple. Which kind of works for this ship, I guess. Hmm. Next shield, the assimilated shield array. That looks pretty cool too. And the engine we see is uh, turned from white to, uh, to green on the, uh, the back end there. Seen some like graphics clipping. I don't know if that's just because how, f yeah, it has to do with how far. It's a big ship, and even though my field of view is set to 20, I had to zoom out so it'll fit in the screen. <laughs> uh, neck shield. By neck shield, I actually mean the uh, the Borg three piece uh, shield, <laughs> or three piece set. Uh, so there's the deflector. This tiny thing, oh my god, right there. <laughs> Oh, that looks so out of place. And then going from one extreme of like super small to ginormous impulse engine thing. Holy crap. I think that's the biggest I've ever seen it. I didn't. Please keep all comments to yourself. Um, I'm not seeing that visual that we usually see on the. Uh, um, the nacelle though, but, all right, let's move on to the next shield. All right, here's the T5 Romulan shield array. You know what, I think I'm going to change something. Hold on one second. All right, um, just, all right, that should solve some of the visual clipping issues. I kept seeing the white decal that's going down the side of the ship. 
um, like clipping in that. So I've just changed the field of view to 35. I usually do this at 20, but all right. Uh, let's go to the next shield. The Riemann shield array. Whew. So much chrome. It looks like none of the shields are going to be affecting the moving weird things underneath the vents there, so. Alright, next shield. They're the tier 6 vanity rep shield. This is the Romulan Riemann vanity shield from the T6 reputation. Now I like it. I like it very nice. Next shield. The Nukara shield array. This is from the T5 rep. Not digging this one too much. No, a little too plain Jane for me. Uh, next shield. And here's the tier 6 Nukara vanity shield. And I don't think I'm liking this one too much either. I mean, I think it's better than the T5, though, on this ship. Alright, let's go to the next shield. The Dyson Shield Array. From the T5 rep. This one I like. This one looks pretty sharp. Holy crap. Yeah, I like that one a lot. Let's take a look at the T6 vanity rep. And here it is. Um... Not bad either. I, I think I prefer the T5 one more than the T6, but yeah, not bad. Uh, next shield. Here's the counter command T5 uh, shield array. Actually, it does not look bad on this ship at all either. Got some polka dot action going on on the vents there, but not too bad. Uh, let's look at the T6. Ooh, I like the tier 6 a lot more. Yeah, the tier 6 counter command looks. Oh, that looks so good. Yeah, that's that's pretty amazing. <laughs> Next shield, the Delta Alliance T5 shield array. Looking good. Oh my god, this looks so good on here. Yeah, that looks really, really, really good. Uh, let's look at the tier 6. Ooh, I like the tier 6 too. It's this part here, so there's these... It lo almost looks like bumpers on the edge of the ship here and it's the color contrast between that and the rest of the hull that just really really makes this shield look good and other shields too that looks really good hard to pick between t5 and t6 i might have to go with t5 though but anyway next shield here's the iconian shield array T5 rep. Uh, 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 uh. Next shield. Uh, the T6 Iconian rep uh, vanity shield. Also, see previous statement. <laughs> Which was more noises of me trying to figure out what to say and my brain just not coming up with anything. Uh, next shield. The Terran Task Force T5 Shield Array. Looks so good. Oh. These, these lines, these decal lines, I want to call them, the white lines, really, really add character to this ship. That looks so good. Oof. Yeah, that's really good. Uh, let's look at the T6 vanity shield. All right. Also, not bad. Um, only thing is, 
might be... Hmm. I don't know. The T5 worked a lot better because it was a darker skin. Like, this ship definitely benefits from the darker shield arrays. In my opinion, this is all subjective. I will make this t-shirt, by the way. <laughs> uh, but, in, yeah, my opinion, I think the T5 looked a lot better on this one. Uh, next shield. The Temporal Defense Shield Array. Not my cup of tea, personally, but there it is. Next shield, the T6 Temporal Vanity Shield. I think if I had to pick between the two phaser to my head, I'd have to pick the T6. Yeah. Next shield, the Lucari T5 Shield Array. All that Tron. I was actually kind of expecting more Tron. Oh, there it is. I was actually expecting a lot more, but this is pretty good. You gotta keep in mind, this is a big ship too, so. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Uh, and let's look at the T6. All right, here's the tier six Lucari Vanity Shield. Uh, I personally definitely would have to go for the T5. Yeah. Next shield. The Competitive War Games T5 Shield Array. Uh, big blue diamonds actually don't bother me on this ship for some reason. I don't know why. Ooh, that's cool. The vents are black on this one. That's kind of cool. This looks like the front face of like a uh, praying mantis, I want to say, or a dragonfly. Oh, this looks like a short dragonfly. Yeah. <laughs> right, anyway, next shield. Here is the T6 competitive war game shield array. So pretty much anything that was blue is now gold. Mm. Eh, not bad, I guess. Uh, next shield, the T5 Gamma Rep Shield Array. Uh, not bad. Not bad. Uh, let's look at the T6. Here's the Tier 6 Gamma Rep Vanity Shield. I think I like the Tier 6 on this ship a lot better. This could pass as like a, some sort of Zenkethi Jem'Hadar crossbreed hybrid ship. <laughs> Next shield. All right, here's the Jem'Hadar shield array. This is one of the mission reward shields. Kind of oldish looking. Next shield, the Bajor defense shield array. I kind of like it. Uh, it gives this ship kind of that, like, really crazy freighter looking vibe to it. Yeah. <laughs> Next shield. The Breen Shield Array. <laughs> oh, man. I... I don't have words. Yeah. Next shield. The Aegis Shield Array. This looks good. Well, it's kind of just like... There we go. There's a little bit of the light accent from the Aegis Shield. You don't see too much. It's this more like a basic... Sh it's pretty much the base skin just with some extra added blue hot lights to it, really. Hmm. Uh, next shield. Alright, we're moving on to lockbox vanity shields. Here's the Herc vanity shield. And this shield actually seems to work on this ship. Wow. 
Not bad at all. Next shield, the Ferengi Vanity Shield. Um, I'm not saying no. I'm saying not bad. Yeah. <laughs> Next shield, the Kelvin Divergence uh, Vanity Shield. Meh. Looks a little basic. At least we don't have that god awful bizarre collector graphic like stretched over something. At least not that I can see. Nope. Excellent. <laughs> Next shield. The Discovery Vanity Shield. Ooh. I like. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, next shield. The Emperor's Vanity Shield. Looking pretty good as well. Hmm. Yeah, not bad either. It's not, for some reason, it's just not BAM! Wow! Like, I don't know. Maybe because it's already got a really dark skin to begin with. So, yeah, I don't know. Uh, next shield. The Section 31 Vanity Shield. This looks good. It, it Just the material on the skin, like it's got that glossy matte, I don't know what to really describe it. I like it though. But again, it's not BAM! Like this is amazing, it's just like this looks really good. Whereas on other ships it's been BAM! This is amazing. I'm saying BAM a lot. Next shield. And the Zenkethi shield array. <laughs> For real, I actually have it on if you don't believe me. See? Right there. Zenkethi vanity shield. So thank you very much for... Uh, you know what? I want to see if anything actually did change. Hold on. Let's look. We, we see some extra details going along the back here. Let's see what happens when we take it off. No. Just looks kind of... No, nothing has really changed, so, yeah. Thank you again for the Zenkethi shield. <laughs> uh, next shield. All right, we're going to quickly do the baseball shields. Uh, this is the Bozeman uh, shield array. Or vanity shield, whatever. Looks like a hornet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that makes it look like a hornet for sure. Uh, next shield. The Vulcan Logicians shield array. Nothing fancy, for me at least. Next shield, Denvian Slime Devils, I guess they were called. Uh, shield Array. Huh. Next shield, the Deep Space Niners. You know, with the red it kind of looks a little cool. Next shield, the Ferenginar Liquidators. So looking pretty cool. And the Cation Claws. It just gives me Thor Ragnarok feel to it. And I like the movies, so whatever. <laughs> and that is it for this visual review. Um, Thank you very much for watching. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the new format of going uh, flipping between T5 and then looking at the T6 um, counterpart shield like right away instead of later. Uh, like I said, there's a lot of people who said it. Uh, the video felt a little bit more organized and uh, it was better um, to see the differences between T5, T6, which I full heartedly agree. Um, so. Um, yeah, that's the new format that we're going to be going with uh, from now on, as, as, as long as I remember. <laughs> um, yeah, um, thank you again for watching this video. Uh, thank you to our sponsor, Gameprint. Uh, if you're new here or have been watching my videos and are not subscribed, uh, please hit that subscribe button. I really would appreciate it. And if you enjoyed it, hit the like button, and I will see you in the next video. Uh, which I don't know what it's going to be because I'm 
I'm recording all these on the weekend and I'm just deciding by the seat of my pants. So yeah. Anyway, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.